Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a fuel filler neck on this 96 Buick Regal. Um, the procedure is basically the same for Regal as well as the Cutlass Supreme and the Pontiac Grand Prix. Um, often these fill necks get rusted out, they get pinholes and cause a check engine light to come on. Tools you'll need are jack and jack stands, 7, 10, and 5 16 sockets. You'll need a ratchet and extension, flat blade screwdrivers, um, small up to large, and I kind of put a little star next to tin snips and wire ties. This vehicle, one of the bolts is rusted out, so I have to clip a um, clamp that holds the fill neck to the body, and then I use wire ties to re-secure it. Now remove your gas cap, and then there are three seven millimeter bolts holding the top here. Remove those. And I'll use fast forward here. I use this quite often, um, just when I'm taking out bolts or whatever. You don't really want to watch me just turning a wrench the whole time. Now there are four bolts that hold the plastic bezel that surrounds the fuel filler. Um, the bolts hold it to the body of the car, remove the four bolts around the outside, and then there's one bolt uh, kind of inside um, at, the, uh, at the root of the uh, fuel filler door. Okay, now three okay, seven millimeter here, bolts you're gonna hold remove uh, two this seven panel millimeter in, bolts, one there, one, here, one a little higher up, and, one and then up here, one down below well the wheel, and Phillips then there's two screws, uh, and then the screws, shield will come out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to speed it up here as I use a small Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws and then a 7 millimeter socket with a ratchet to remove um, the three bolts. Okay, once you pull that down back in here, you've got what's left of a 10 millimeter bolt that you need to remove. And on this vehicle, the bolt was so rusty that I just end up taking a pair of snips and cutting the strap that holds um, the uh, filler neck in place. Okay, so looking up at underneath, you can see pretty much our problem with our um, fuel filler neck, very crusty. These get pinholes in them, they don't hold pressure. Um, first thing we're going to do is remove uh, this we need to remove this clamp because it holds these tubes to the neck okay and then there's two clamps that hold the hoses on we're going to remove this here remove this hose okay and then we're going to remove the main filler neck goes in right here so we're going to loosen the clamp and remove the hose here at the tank Okay, and actually just to the right of that main filler hose is where that uh, vent tube hose goes in. It's the other end that I showed you before, um, and that clamp on this vehicle is in much better shape. So actually what I do is just end up loosening uh, that clamp. Okay, for this, using a small screwdriver, pulls that down, and you should be able to pry the clamp apart. Okay, that'll allow that to come off. Okay, first I'm going to use a 5 16 socket and an extension and ratchet and go up and loosen up this clamp here. main tube. I want to get it nice and loose so that there's no question about it being able to move around. I'm going to loosen this one up here too. Just to give myself some options. I'm actually going to reach up in, grab hold that main filler tube, and twist it, get it loose. 
and now use a large screwdriver and pry on that vent tube and pry on the vent tube as you pull from the other side and pull it loose. Okay, now that everything's loosened up down below, I can move my neck around and take the plastic housing out uh, just by kind of sliding it over the neck and then sliding it out the quarter panel. Okay, I don't get the best shot of this here, but I'm going to grab it low on the filler neck, pull it out away from the, the tank, and then kind of twist it down and pull it out of the vehicle. Okay, so you can see I've just loosened up my um, clamp. Just use a screwdriver. And you just want to kind of break the, basically the rust seal between the tube and the hose. And now to do the same for the smaller tube, remove the clamp and then just uh, break the kind of break the rust barrier between the tube and the hose and pull them apart. Okay, next step before you go to put it back in, uh, you'll want to put the plastic housing back up in and start the five screws that hold it, the four kind of around the edges and then the one inside near the uh, base of the um, fuel door and you just start them in, you don't have to tighten them up yet. Okay, now you take your new fuel filler neck and you feed it up in okay, towards the plastic grommet okay, and at the same time make sure that your filler tube here Going under there. Okay, up and in. Okay, now take your tube and kind of put it in from the back side. And a couple notes, you'll notice that I had my clips or my clamps on the tube. Um, basically you put it up in there and get it to go on to the filler neck side first and then get it go to go on to um, the fuel tank. I really can't film it. Um. Okay. I'll kind of repeat that. Put the vent tube in there. And again, put the tube up in there um, and then reach in there either from uh, the back side or between the tank and the suspension and get the tube on both the filler neck as well as the fuel tank. Okay, and then make sure you get all your clamps in place. Um, you don't want to tighten them up yet. You want to keep them loose so you can move it around to get everything else connected first. I'll take the top of our filler neck here. Line up one of the holes here. Okay, and I'm just going to fast forward here as I put the other two bolts in that hold the filler neck up into that plastic uh, bezel and then I tighten up um, all four or five bolts that hold the bezel to the car. Okay, in here, since I had to break uh, this strap, I just worked some magic with some wire ties uh, and it's held on up at the top and up at the bottom, so that should uh, keep it steady enough. I can put this back in place and put the bolts and screws back that hold it in. And now up underneath, uh, take that strap um, that was around the 
uh, filler neck as well as the uh, two vent tubes from the tank. Uh, put it back up in and clamp it back into place. And then go back in underneath, use your screwdriver as well as your ratchet and socket and extension and make sure you tighten up all four clamps uh, on the filler neck as well as the vent tube. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.